All right, so we're going to go ahead and graph this. Class, what number do you have here? Negative 2. And what number do you have here? Yeah, positive 3. Okay, so essentially this is a compound inequality. And let's graph the first one. So if you need to, you can just write this a little bit separately. x is less than or equal to 3. Let's graph this in orange. Open or closed circle? And which direction do I go? It, inequality is pointing towards the left, the arrow to the left. All right, let's do the second one now. This one says negative 2 is less than x. But when we normally write inequalities, we have the x on the left-hand side. So let me write an x. Let me write a negative 2. And what inequality do you think we're going to write there? I can't leave less than there because it's changing it. Look, this is how I see it. I see it as the inequality is pointing towards the negative 2. The inequality is pointing towards the negative 2. So let me do this one in green. So compound inequality, like a compound sentence, is basically there's two simple sentences. There are two simple inequalities in here. Let's go to negative 2. Open or closed? open because there's no line there. Which direction should I go? I need numbers that are bigger than negative 2, numbers that are bigger going towards the right. And you basically stop at the circle. So this is what it looks like for an inequality. Alright, let's now do interval notation. <laughs> in interval notation, an open circle is what symbol class? Parentheses. And class, a closed circle is bracket. And so when you combine it, you just basically have a parentheses and a bracket there. Let's write this in interval notation now. On my left side of my graph, what do I have? <coughs> you have a parentheses, negative 2, comma. What do you have on the right-hand side? You have a bracket with a 3. I'm going to say a number. I want you guys to tell me out loud if it's a solution. 4. No, it's not where the color it is. 4 is not less than 3. It is bigger than negative 2. Okay? You'll basically see that it needs to meet both of these conditions. How about 0? 0 is less than or equal to 3, and 0 is also bigger than negative 2. 0 is in between our inequality here on our number line. How about negative 10? Negative 10 is not bigger than negative 2, but negative 10 is smaller than or equal to 3. So again, you have to meet both of these conditions. <clears throat> How about negative 2? There's negative 2. Negative 2 is not bigger than negative 2. But negative 2 is less than or equal to 3. Remember, I need both of those. How about 3? Look, 3 is greater than negative 2. That works. And 3 is equal to 3. That's what the line there means. So it is a solution. 